What is going on guys, it's Territory Gamer here and today I want to be showing you guys how you can install Forge as well as the Pixelmon mod. Now this is pretty easy to do, this is only going to work on 1.6.4 currently but it's going to be the same way for the installation for 1.7.2 as well as 1.7.4 when it does get released and I will update the links down in the description when the new releases do get released. Now, all you will need to do for this mod, it is pretty easy, there's only a few steps you need to do, and the first one is you want to clear your .minecraft just to make sure that there's nothing that is going to conflict with it. Now, you can do this by just typing in percent, app data percent, in your search here, and then you want to click roaming, and then you've got your .minecraft right here. Now, what you will need to do is either back up your .minecraft file, or you can just simply delete it straight up, and then you've done that step. So mine's currently deleting now, and then you're done. Now, once you've done that, you guys just want to start up Minecraft once again, and you want to install a fresh new jar that has no mods or anything at all. Now, I'm going to have to log in, and it's going to have to download the Minecraft once again, so it may take a while, but I'm just going to log in really quick here, and click log in. Now, once you've logged in, all you will need to do is go to Edit Profile, and you will need to change your Use Version to 1.6.4. Now, this all depends on what version of the mod you have. Currently, like I said before, there is only 1.6.4 for this version. When there is a 1.7.4 release, then you will need to change this to 1.7.4 as long as these two are both compatible with that version. Now, all you will need to do now is just simply click Save Profile. Now you just want to launch it up quick and it will download the entire Minecraft file once again and this may take a while so I'm going to quickly skip through the video up to when it finishes. Okay, so once that's done it should just load Minecraft. Now all you will need to do now is just exit Minecraft and you want to find your Minecraft Forge. Now you just want to double click on it and then it should come up with an installation file and you just want to select the area where your Minecraft is saved and you want it selected as install client. Now you just want to click OK and then it should start installing this and then Minecraft Forge should be installed. So again I'm going to skip this process and I'll be coming back once it is downloaded. Okay so it does say successfully installed and that's pretty much it for installing it. Now all you will need to do to make sure Minecraft Forge is installed is to launch Minecraft and there should be a profile called Forge. Now, I'm just launching mine now, and you just want to go to Profile, and there should be a thing that says Forge. Now, you just want to click Play, and then it should log in as your username under Forge, and it'll say Minecraft 1.6.4 Forge, or whatever version that you do have. You just want to click Play, and we'll just verify that we have the correct version, and everything has gone well. Now, it's just going to launch now. It may take a few seconds. Here we go. It's launching now. And you want to make sure all the mods are installed on the side. And that verifies that we have Minecraft Forge installed. Now the last thing you need to do, of course, is installing the mod. So you want to navigate back to app data percent. And you want to go to roaming.minecraft. And there should be a file called mods. And you just want to simply drag the RAR file straight in and you're done. Now I'm just going to show you guys of course that it does work, so all you will need to do is launch Minecraft and every time you use this mod, you will need to launch it under the profile called Forge. So now all you need to do is click play and I'll show you guys proof that it has worked and hopefully you guys should see the exact same thing that I can see on my screen. So we're just loading it up now and it should say the Pixelmon mod on the left hand side. Once it does load, we're going to go to mods, and there you go, Pixelmon is now installed. So we're going to go to single player, we'll create a world just to show you guys that it is working, and you can see that the interface will load up, and you can see that the mod is indeed installed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please drop a like, as well as leave a comment down below, let me know what mod you guys want to see a tutorial on next, and make sure you guys subscribe as well, it helps me out a ton, and I hope to see you on my next video.